Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Doris Singleton and Lucille Ball. Now, these two women worked together, started back in radio from My Favorite Husband into I Love Lucy and even into Here's Lucy, one of Lucy's post I Love Lucy shows. And she was in the first episode of this series. However, there was a little bit of off-camera friction that happened that led to Doris Singleton no longer working with Lucy, and I do want to talk about that specific moment. What actually happened? Well, you have to stay tuned and find out. If you want to see more videos just like this, don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free. It's that red button down below, and hit the thumbs up button. It does help out the channel when people do that. keeps people like me afloat and allows me to do what I love. So let's get right to it. As I mentioned, they began on My Favorite Husband, and they were in real life fairly good friends, of course, acquaintances and business associates. They, of course, worked together. And Lucy was someone who always brought people that were very close to her family, that were very close, loving, and faithful to her and her work. She was very professional in that sense. So she brought Doris Singleton along, and I love Lucy in many different episodes. She played Carolyn Appleby, of course. I would say the frenemy of Lucy. She was good friends with her, but then they would always get in fights and argue and have these challenges. They were always trying to one-up one another. They were in several episodes of I Love Lucy, including the Harpo Marx episode, as well as the Superman episode, one of my favorites. This was the last appearance of Dora Singleton on I Love Lucy, and there were others that I can name as well. But moving on, fast forwarding to Here's Lucy, there was a very unique experience that happened. Remember, at this time, Lucille Ball had already divorced Desi Arnaz. She was starting her second new show after The Lucy Show. Now what made the show unique was that now Lucy was the star as opposed to having Desi and Lucy. And Lucy was very much trying to put her children into show business and kind of pass the baton on to them. So she co-starred her real life children, that is Lucy Arnaz as well as Desi Arnaz Jr. Now these are not of course actors, they are her own real children who played parts in this series. And they also cast Doris Singleton to go along and have this really interesting character where she was kind of the smart one as opposed to Lucy's kind of zany, kind of crazy, not so smart, kind of inept attitude. So there was a balance there and it would be two women. She was kind of the Ethel Mertz to Lucy. And what was really interesting was that she was basically given this part. But if you're familiar with Here's Lucy, then you will know that Doris Singleton doesn't appear very much in this episode or in this series. And there's a very specific reason for that. This comes from Doris herself. Now, according to her, she was supposed to have, as I mentioned, this regular role on the show, Here's Lucy. Now, she mentions that Lucille Ball was going to be that, quote unquote, dumb secretary. And she herself was going to be the smart one. So everything was set. Contracts were signed. Everything was ready to go. However, as time passed, she realized that she would no longer be asked to be on the show. She wasn't called in, and the script had no mention of her. So she really didn't know what happened. She was at a loss, and she wondered, well, what happened? Did I offend her? Did I do something wrong? And she actually ran into Lucille Ball, and she straight up asked her. She said, Lucille, what happened with Here's Lucy? I thought I was going to have this part along with you. I was going to act alongside, and we were going to have this pretty cool role in the show. And she simply asked her that they decided to go with her children instead, just like that. There was pretty much no notice. It was very spur of the moment. And Dora Singleton was shocked. And what you have to realize, as I mentioned earlier, that Dora Singleton was cast in this role, the children as well. Any dialogue in a script is worth its weight in gold. And so anyone that has lines takes away from other people's lines. And so it was seen that Doris Singleton was taking away from lines and on-air time of Lucy's children. So Lucy being the person that she was, she was heading up the show and she was essentially the boss. She said, well, I'm going to give more opportunities to my children. Doris Singleton was dropped and that's all she wrote. I want to know your thoughts on this, guys and gals, trying to be as balanced as possible. What do you think about this? Is this just how show business goes? Should Lucille Ball have told Doris a little better in another way? I really want to know your thoughts down below, especially considering the history they had and how professional Doris Singleton was on the show and how she did her work. I'd love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. And don't forget, 
be helpful. Thank you to my Diamond Tier patrons, Andrew B, Ricky, and David D. And thank you to every single one of my Patreons where I have exclusive content. Be sure to look in the description below for merchandise, Patreon exclusive content, as well as playlists where you can find other TV shows and sitcoms that I think you'll enjoy. We'll see you all next time.